Okay, everybody, uh, welcome to video number three. So I'm just gonna keep using these same pieces of content. So we already split them up into tiny, more manageable pieces. We have detached the audio and we have mastered the concept of reordering these um, to put them in an order that we want. So the next piece is making these clips either longer or shorter. So when you zoom in, one of the advantage, I'm gonna, okay, perfect. Uh, one of the advantages of zooming in is you have a little bit more um, finer tuned editing. Um, when you're zoomed all the way out, it, it, it makes, it makes big adjustments um, for you know what's supposed to be kind of a microscopic um, look at something. So when you the the zooming in really does help. One of the things that you can do once you're zoomed in is if you select your clip, you're gonna know because it's highlighted, you can then make it shorter or make it longer within that clip. And so they're gonna reach back up into the media up here because it's already in the system. And you just make it shorter or make it longer based off of you know what you need in that moment. And this is of course after you've already split the clip, you know, say say we wanted um so we perfect. So we wanted that. But you know, then we don't want then we don't want to include all of this cantering away. We just want to I just want to jump, land, let's take a few steps away. So all we want is jumping and landing. So we shorten that up. Whoop. Now it doesn't want to play. <laughs> By the way, the audio is muted, so you're just gonna see the video clip. And see, we shorten that right up, and then it skips right to the next clip. Okay, and then um, I always, it, I use the zoom for, you know, obviously here when you're trying to do broad reordering versus over here when you're trying to do like fine tune editing, like you're trying to look at this clip specifically versus looking at all the clips as a whole movie. All right, see you on the next.